Hey guys, sorry for the quick video. Uh, actually, I just remembered something, and I, I don't know why I felt like I had to share it with you guys. Ages ago, I lived in Taiwan, and, uh, um, what was I going to say? Oh, and I remembered something crazy that was there. It was like, life was there was really, it was really slow compared to mainline China. And I do remember something, and it just popped up on my Facebook feed, a little video. And it, uh, it was this, this pastime that you had in small towns, even in, in the cities, actually, in Taiwan. It was called shrimp fishing. And basically, you had um, you had a you'd rent a fishing pole for about I think it was a, like three dollars an hour, and there was a swimming pool full of like Thai shrimp, like the really big ones, and you'd put some like you chop up some some chicken hearts, and you'd put them on the hook, and sometimes the shrimp would like grab on and eat it, and you'd catch it, and you could keep whatever whatever ones you could you could catch. And uh, it was tough to do it. Sometimes you'd only get one or something. But at the end of whatever you paid for, they'll cook them up right there for you. Like, they salt them and grill them. So I'll share some pictures in this little video that, that, that uh, I found. Um, it was typically classified as a low-class uh, pastime, right? Kind of like people in America that watch NASCAR and drink Bud, Bud Budweiser beer. No offense to anyone that does that. Are typically in the lower income bracket, right? Um, and that's fine and everything, but that was the same thing in Taiwan. When you come as a foreigner, sometimes you can participate in things that, you know, maybe someone of your income bracket wouldn't normally do because you don't know any better. But that's what made it so much fun. And sometimes they would have strippers come in while the old men were drinking beer after work and after their factory job or whatever and shrimp fishing. And they're strippers to dance. So have a look at this little video.